Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be playing The Last Days of Lazarus. It's a story about a man who's estranged from his family and he's traveling back to his childhood home after the death of his mother. Apparently the family has got some interesting secrets and a dark past that we're going to be exploring. It has supernatural elements and it's set in post-Soviet Eastern Europe. I'm really excited for that. Let's get straight into this and see what it's like. This is the first horror game I'm playing at home on my own, not streaming. So I'm really excited and worried. But it should be great. Let's get straight into it. If we find ourselves with the desire that nothing in this world can satisfy, the most probable explanation is that we were made for another world. I love that. Lazarus? Yes? Who is this? It's me, Ludmilla. Listen, you have to come home. Ludmilla? What happened? It's mom. She... She's dead. What? What the hell are you talking about? She hanged herself. God damn it. Are you telling me the truth? You think I'm lying about such a thing? She's dead as Lazarus. She's hanging by a rope in the closet. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's, so it's dark and raining and, and I'm all by myself. What do I do? What do you do? Why the hell did you call me in the first place? Call the damn police or an ambulance. Please yeah. tell me you'll come home. You can't come home right now. What? What the hell do you mean? You have to come home. Our mother is dead and you should... Listen, I can't. Not now. I have a job and it's not the sort of thing I can walk away from. The hell is with your job? You left me and mom just as father did. You're a selfish bastard. Listen, if I could, I would come right away. But I really can't. I'll be home by Christmas, okay? No, it's not okay at all. You have to come at once. I can't wait that long. I'm all by myself here. Why can't you understand? I'm sorry. I... Lazarus? No. No! Oh. What do I do? You bastard. The poor girl. That would be so hard. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist. There's some good quotes in here. December 20th, 1999. This old place I left when I turned 16. I didn't miss it. Why the hell didn't I just come to the funeral? That you should've. This job was a mess. And now, I need to lay low for a while. I hope at least my sister will forgive me. I should've brought some flowers. She must be expecting me. Aside from going to work, she never leaves the apartment. Flowers. That'll help. <laughs> Ludmilla? That probably can't hurt. I'm home. Okay. Wow. Interesting graphics. Very detailed. And really quite cool. I love the I love the color scheme. <gasps> Christmas tree. So this is Christmas. And now it's over. Damn, I was meant to read that. I don't know what to make of this. Should I be worried or not? She always seemed cryptic in her letters. Dearest brother, as you can see, I'm not home. I've grown hateful of this place since that horrible night. I'll be at the cemetery, lighting a candle at our mother's grave. I hope I'll catch the bus back before 9pm. If not, don't worry. I'm all grown up now. I can watch after myself. Sometimes I have that feeling of jumping on a train and going far, far away. Who knows, perhaps I'll buy myself a ticket tonight. Don't worry about me. I've taken the risk to leave the entrance door unlocked for you. See you, hopefully, soon. Your sister, Lid Miller. So this is my inventory, documents, collectibles, no collectibles. Ooh, there's collectibles. Okay. Can I read that? Hmm, strange. Tis. All right, let's through this door. This is the place where my mother took her life. Really? Oh, oh wow, that's creepy. Okay. Hmm. The, the light bulb there on the book is very interesting. Okay. Can I go through here? It's locked. No. 
Oh, that's pretty. Often called a dictator, the new president has won the people's vote of confidence through unprecedented measures. In his latest speech, he announced the increase of the minimum wage by 70%. For millions of people, the Christmas celebrations turn to feasts as the increased income brings a complete life change for them. The measure has also put an end to the protests organized. I'm at the cemetery. I'll be home soon, Ludmila. Isn't it a bit too late for that? Mm. As you may know, the decision was taken earlier this month. And as a consequence, no one can leave the country without giving permission. Sounds familiar. God, those footsteps and stuff are the freaky. All right. Those religious depictions make me feel uncomfortable. Same. <laughs> My dear child, even if your memories of your father are vague, I hope you remember how loving he was. You do, don't you? A gentleman, always ready to give his life for all of us. Lazarus, my dearest son, I understand your frustration and resentment towards us, but believe me, it's not easy for us either. Your sister and I are alone against a world that does not see us with good eyes. The people are gossiping. I want you to come home. Let the three of us be together again. You, me, and Ludmilla. We could mobilize and find Vladimir. Let's convince your father to come home. Oh, how I wish I could. Our love was sincere. Some would say obsessive, even. Lazarus, don't be like your father. Don't leave us all alone. Come home. God bless you, Mom. I love that name, Vladimir. It's like one of my favorite names. Okay. Can I pick that up? That, yep, I can. Nope. <laughs> Quite a lot of pills. Mom had a disturbing addiction. Oh, there are. To killers. Luke Miller should have thrown them away. I guess she's taking the pills with the alcohol. It's never a good idea. Never a good idea. So. This was my father's typewriter. After he left us, our mother started writing weird religious poems and giving them to the neighbors. Made us huh. look like a family of fanatics. Oh wow. Can I, can I go out there? Nope. My dear children, I'm alone, I'm hurt, I'm old. I feel like my fight will be over soon. But I still feel in the depths of my soul that I will not close my eyes until I hug my beloved Vladimir once more. I will never understand why he did what he did. Faith in God has messed with his mind. What sort of man, father of two children, leaves his family and goes to the monastery to become a monk? I believe in God too. Yes, know that. It is not just for show. That noise behind me is freaking me out. It's not just for show that I hang icons on the walls of my house. It is not just because I'm bored that I go to church. It is not that I don't have anything better to do than to burn incense all day long. I burn incense. I love incense. Father Abraham knows me well. He also knows your father. But he doesn't say a word. Why? Dear God, you do understand my suffering, don't you? I'm so close to him, yet still so far. Dear God, hear my prayers. Bring Vladimir back home to his wife and children. Together, we will build you a monastery like no other. Mum. Okay. My mother always said she'd like to die listening to the ticking of this clock. But in the end, she hanged herself in a storage closet. God, be so how does the daughter still living in the house? Like, I couldn't do that. <laughs> Could not do that. All right, can I go through here? Nope, I just, okay. Can I go through here? Nope, still can't go through there. And I can't go out there. Okay. Am I missing something? the clock stop ticking? No, it just got quieter. That was kind of creepy. Alright, so... Oh, there's a suitcase. 
with nothing in it. My goodness, that is so dark. I need a torch. Or just get in the suitcase. Yeah, that's a good idea. Increasing the minimum wage by 70% can mean for all candidates to scheme out of the communist regime a total disaster. Nobody knows where this money will come from. Wow. Holy heck, look how ancient that is. That's incredible. Old camera. Nothing else in there. Okay. Are there any other cupboards that I can open? Can I open this? None of those. What about this one? Okay. What about drawers and stuff? Man, I'm hearing it. so many noises. Hey, light! Yeah. Oh! I should find a new light bulb. I'm okay. I promise I'll get let less jumpy. My <laughs> cat next to me just like jumped out of it. <laughs> Not those ones, this one. Okay. The light bulb. All right. I actually know what that is. I'm okay. One of the things I've noticed that always scares me is when I'm really looking for something or I'm feeling a bit lost and then there's a jump scare. It's like I'm just so focused that it, it scares me more than something else would. Although, again, I'm home alone. For the first time ever playing a horror game, this is... I'm probably just going to be jumpy no matter what. Yay! Oh, the light helps. Oh, there's a key! Cool! Hallway key, nice. That, that's not that one, is it? It'd be this one? Yes. Far out, he opened that door so fast. Like, ease me into it a little bit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm not okay with dolls. This is another Christmas tree. Holy crap, this house is beautiful. Oh, I'm gonna go in there first. No, I'm not. Okay. Hey, it's me! So there's so many games that I've played recently where you can't see your own reflection. You just never know what you look like. So that's what I look like. Okay. Oh shit. Turn that off now. Thanks. Yep. Cool. <laughs> what is that? There's like a bucket and is it blood? Hope and purpose. Okay, we can't go through there yet. We can't go through there yet. Hmm. It's locked, but I see a dim light coming from inside. Yeah, and I see like glowing lights on the outside. Isn't that weird? Okay, go in here. I have this little ritual with horror games. I just stick to the left. I don't know why. <laughs> Kitty! Hey! You look a little rough, old boy. I hate to break this to you, but you fit perfectly in this old, decrepit place. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Can I pat him again? Yeah, that's enough. Oh, it's never enough. Pat him again. So I understand that we have five more minutes. Okay, let's talk about Father Abraham, all right? Everyone knows him, but not everyone knows about his past. This is important because you, you'll certainly meet him. Dear fellow citizens, just by looking out the window, we can all see the church where this individual serves. That blue building with the golden roof that cost us, the taxpayers, a fortune. This man, as I will not call him a priest, 
My sister seems to be lazier than me. As a Roman Catholic priest, far from Romania's now defunct communist regime. Forty years ago, dear listener, his name was on everyone's lips. During that time, a series of uncertain but scandalous events took place in his life, culminating with the death of his own son. Some of you may not know that the Roman Catholic priests are not allowed to get married, but you know what he did? He had an affair with a woman, and she ended up killing herself after. How convenient. Now about the son. At that time, the press said the boy was just the victim of a car accident. Again, how convenient. After giving up the priestly clothing of the Roman Catholic Church, Abraham moved to Romania, where he discovered... How on earth can you eat this thing? It looks like it stood here for days. The stench is overwhelming. Yeah, what that's disgusting. Hell, okay. Okay. Hello? Lazarus, you finally arrived. Yes, a few moments ago. I thought you'd be home. Where are you? I'm beside her mother. Are you still at the cemetery? You should hurry up and catch a bus or else... Don't worry, I can handle it on my own. Listen, I brought you money. Enough to start a new life somewhere else. I want you to know that I am very sorry. There's no need to be sorry. I have forgiven you already, Lazarus. We all make mistakes from time to time. I have my own sins. Oh, thank you. Listen, mm. you should hurry up. It's cold and dark already. By the way, where are you calling from? Ludmilla? Are you still there? Hello? Um... Okay. That's, yeah, that, that's creepy. <laughs> all right. Um, there was, I wanted, there was something I wanted to read. Where was it here? Strange, isn't it? These days it seems that even the simplest things are better understood when written, not when spoken. I remember each Christmas you visited Mum and me. How you'd bring us expensive gifts, money, clothes, jewellery. We sold it all. Some of it we gave to charity. We didn't need any of it. Sometimes I sit and think, where you get all this stuff from? Valuable, antique objects. We cared little for money. We just wanted to have someone close to us. A paternal figure, someone whom to speak to, someone on whose shoulder we could cry, yet you thought you could fill this need by sharing us every so often with money. You understood nothing. You did exactly like our father. Ah. Mm, moldy bread. Yummy, yummy, yummy. The music's a little bit foreboding now. So. God, well she's like standing right there. What is that? Like, what is sticking out of the door? Okay. Okay. And this one. It's locked. Alright. So that was, like, super creepy. Is this door open now? No, that one doesn't open now. Hey, is that Vladimir? He looks nice. I can't go in there either. Gosh, that room is so pretty. Oh, another note. Father Abraham told me that my belief in God has reached an unhealthy level. That I should break ties with the past and forget everything. To forget my beloved Vladimir. That I should stop suffering the walls of my house with paintings of saints. Sorry, stuffing. That I should stop stuffing the walls of my house with paintings of saints. And stop burning incense twice a day. What kind of devilish advice is that? What sort of priest thinks like that? This man is an apostate. A neat that ba da ba da. <laughs> I will never step foot in that cursed church again. Never I will make this house a real monastery. It will be the perfect place to serve God. To hell with this. Even Ludmilla has started to misbehave lately. She doesn't even cover her head when she leaves the house. What a shameless child. And now she's in cahoots with her father, Abraham. He twisted my daughter's mind and urged her to take me to the clinic for a psychiatric checkup. That damn fool. She has no idea how much I sacrificed for the good of this family. Oh, Vladimir, if only you knew how much I want you to come back. Okay. 
What the hell is that? Oh God, what is that? What the hell was that? Oh, what's happening? Holy heck, what's happening? Oh, okay, okay. Can I leave? I'd really like to leave now. <laughs> nope, can't leave. Seriously. Oh, the cat's gone. No, kitty, why? Why? Where did the cat go? Okay. I still can't go through there. Was all that on the floor before? Was I just not paying attention? Help! <laughs> Perfect time to listen to music, right? Yes. Oh, what the? There are cracks on this wall. There are. Stench is coming from behind. Really? You sniffing the cracks? <laughs> this is madness. She even locked the bathroom door. Kick it. Oh. Let's go. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. What the hell is this thing? Hol oh. Oh my god. Am I losing my what the devil was that? I should call the police right away. Yes, do that. Call police right away. Help. Hello, what's your emergency? You need to send someone. There's a creature in my bathroom. A hideous monster. Something like... Sir, please calm down and try to speak louder. I can't speak louder. The thing is right next to me. Just behind the door. There's a horrible thing there. The earthquake must have caused it to come out. It's sticking out of the toilet. And there's there's black stuff smeared on the walls. Please send someone. Okay, I'm going to ask you to calm down and back away from the door. Try to arm yourself with a knife if possible. Are you kidding? It's a bloody monster. How would a knife help me? Oh, the Damn door's you. bleeding. Just send someone. Oh, God. It's happening again. Please calm down. You are not the only emergency. There are reports from all over the city about abnormal activities and strange occurrences. You are not our first priority. No, no. Damn you. You are not our first priority. Holy crap, that would make you so freaked out. I'm, I'm pretty freaked out anyway. I don't want to open that again. I can't go through here. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it. Oh, that's probably a bad idea. Okay, can I... Like, the front door seems like a really good... Get out! Get out help. now! Help! Somebody help me open this damned door! <sighs> really? No. Oh! I'm okay. Was that mom? Mom! <laughs> Holy crap, the screaming! Can I get out this door? Can you just smash the damn window? Damn it, Mum! Send help! Whoa. Oh, how did I not see that? Okay. <sighs> Everything calm again. So good. So wow. Oh, that's magnificent. What's that? Okay. Goodness. That must be hallucinating. This is rather disturbing. I'm not staying here any longer. I'm going after Ludmila at the cemetery. And then we'll go straight to a motel. Oh yeah. To hell with this damned place. I left the apartment immediately. I drove on the muddy roads towards the Kalima region, where my mother was buried. I was overwhelmed by an unexplainable rush of anxiety, fearing for my sister's safety.
I think the devil doesn't exist, but man has created him. He has created him in his own image and likeness. Same evening, a few hours later. The decision to close the country's borders has sparked controversy, especially among ordinary people. The fact that only rich citizens with political connections seem to have access to documents that would allow them to leave the country at any time has enraged the public opinion. For those less fortunate, it seems the only way to obtain the needed papers is through illegal means, for large sums of money paid to unscrupulous profiteers who know the right pockets to grease. Concerns have been expressed by many that such restrictions imposed by the new Wait government a second. are a That's the bus that should have brought Ludmilla home. Uh -oh. oh god. Oh, look at all the bodies. There were burnt corpses inside, unrecognizable. Oh My no. god, Ludmilla, are you still alive? Oh, I hope so. Can I go back and look at the bus? Or am I like, nope, I can't go back at all. Wow, okay. You know, it's funny, it's really hot at the moment in Australia, but this is actually making me feel cold. <laughs> That's very effective. Can I run? Oh yes, there we go. I hope I don't miss what anything. on earth happened to this place? Okay. Oh, there's the body. Lies. Brave men, too long have you suffered under the rule of this oppressive state. Today, this horrible regime will meet its end. With the election of the new president, the people declare war on all hideous phantasms that have overshadowed our freedom. Men has to be free. Soldiers, we are fighting for freedom. Raise your flags and carry on. Uproot the old system and build a new world. Down with the relics of the old times, your children will be perfect. In their eyes, you will be like gods, and gods indeed you will be become. This sacrifice must be done. Thousands of people will die today, but their deaths will not be in vain. Die tonight and be reborn tomorrow. Lies. Okay. Anything else here? Nope. Another body. Can I just take that gun? Like, that would be helpful, can I? What the hell is that? Oh, it's a battery. I'm here against my will. This is madness. This war makes no sense. But I have children. I have a wife at home. I fear for their safety. What kind of freedom is this if we are dragged into the insanity against our will? General Zotov asked us to erase the Church of the Transfiguration from the face of the earth. A small wooden church. I landed this morning with four other soldiers on this narrow rocky strand. We immediately saw the church. We were expecting at least a cathedral, surrounded by dozens of fanatic worshippers. But it's just a wooden church, with no soul in sight. They lied to us. We found only three old monks. Three monks! They greeted us and offered us food. In their sad naivety, they had no idea we were sent to kill them in the name of the new order. Poor things. They didn't know their ideas were not compatible with this wonderful new world. A world that I hope will never come to be. We were constantly receiving orders through the radio. The monks heard what we were being told. We couldn't do it. We were unceremoniously ordered to execute them on the spot. But how could we just kill these innocent old men? What could justify such atrocity? We all pray to God to watch over our souls. If anyone finds this note, note that we, the five soldiers, George, Jan, Miron, Vasil, and Venia, died along with the three monks, refusing to play the devil's games. Okay. So there should be like eight bodies around. But they're probably scattered. Looks like a generator that is connected to the tank. It doesn't seem to work though. Okay. Is it missing the battery maybe? Is there... how do I actually use things here? Okay. Maybe it will give me an option too soon. Oh fudge, are you alive? Can you hear me? What the hell happened here? Listen, can you hear me? Have you seen a young girl near the cemetery? They have 
slaughtered us. We must sink that cursed battle cruiser. What? Listen, I can't. There's a terminal down there that will remotely control this tank. Go and activate it. I cannot get involved in this. Listen, you selfish idiot. That girl is probably dead if she was caught in the crossfire. But something far more terrible is afoot. The demented maniac is on a rampage of slaughtering innocent people. If you sink the cruiser, we may all still have a chance to live. Do something okay. good while there's still time. Can I take your gun? <laughs> or at least play the guitar? Lantern? Nothing. What cruiser? I haven't even seen it. Oh, right. Oh, wow. That's, that's huge. Okay. Okay. The first aid kit. Radio receiver. Oh, come on, let me get the first aid kit. No. Gun? No. What's this one say? General Zoltov kept desperately sending us messages with new orders. I felt him getting angrier and angrier. His orders become more and more hideous. He described in detail what we should do to the three monks. Terrible. He threatened us that if in 24 hours he wouldn't see the monks' bodies lying on the seashore, they'd bomb the entire island and have snipers hunt us like rats. General Zoltov can go to hell. This morning, the Novaya cruiser reached the coast. I watched in horror. From our hiding place on the screen of the monitor, its silhouette rising ghostly through the thick fog. We'll die. I know we will die. Our only chance is the tank. Below, I see a greasy smudge. October 23. Alright. I might check up here first. Because left. <laughs> to the left, to the left. Nope, can't go through there. I swear I just saw like a bomber. This is legit war. Still can't take a gun? I'd really like to. <laughs> this morning, for the first time, we saw the lightning through the thick fog. There's something unnatural about it, that's for sure. I see General Zoltov cursing when he raises his eyes towards the city. With each mission we finish, the strange phenomena seems to intensify more and more. I don't care what the scientists say. To me, it looks like a sign from God. I remember my grandma told me when I was a child about the prophecies in the Bible, about the signs that will show at the end of the world. The air around us is charged with this energy and it seems that it is about to obliterate everything any minute now. Although I see another greasy sponge. C R B R four. What that means? Do you have anything else? No, I can't see anything else there. Okay. Well, I guess we're going in here. I don't feel particularly comfortable going in here. Oh, what was that? Can I pick out the rug? Oh, really? Okay. Okay. Let's go through there then. Going down. Stathen dies after 29 year rule. His successor not announced. U.S. watchful Eisenhower says. I'm not going to read all of that, but you, oh, you actually can. Hardly, but you can. Wow. So, let's go back up. Oh, this computer. That's how we control... the tank? Is anyone there? It's me, the soldier on the beach. Right. Hi. I'm down in some shelter. Good job. Seems you still have a heart. Bastards. They told us we were coming here to free the monks. But when we got here, they ordered us to kill them all. No could we? But there isn't much time left. See that terminal beside you? It controls the tank you've seen on the beach. I see it. Okay. There must be a way to connect to the tank. There's a password somewhere. One of the dead soldiers had it. Maybe he wrote it on one of his notes. Will you find it? 
Type it in the terminal and follow the instructions. I understand. But listen, why don't you want to do such a thing? What? I can't hear you. They're probably listening to our conversation. Just hurry up. Okay. Oh, I actually have to... Okay. Enter CMD line. I actually have to select it. Okay. So, what was it? I don't want to go there. CRBR4. Right. I can't select four. Why can't I select four? Hmm. I'm missing something else. Maybe it was October. Oh, it is. Okay, it's the other note. Hold on. October 24? Is it October 24? Let's have a look. October 23. That sound should have been giving it away. Gotta go refill it. Let's head back out. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! Am I gonna make it? Right. Now, it's not a good idea to remain here. Okay. Should I head back? Where's the soldier, by the way? It's gone, okay. Head back, head back. Going down. Can I control it now? Press control. Ah, oh, it's so shaky. <laughs> That's so hard on a controller, my goodness. Come on! Destroy that damn cruiser! Is this even working? Whoa. Are you still alive? You've done it! The cruiser is sinking! Hey, Great job! It. And I've got... A visitor. It must have been an hour since the explosion. I That's woke up and tried to find a way out. My knees were shaking. Outside, desolation filled the air. I wasn't sure anymore if that was snow around me or was it ashes. I managed to escape to my car, but Ludmila was nowhere to be found. Oh no. The darker the night, the brighter the stars. The deeper the grief, the closer is God. These are really deep quotes. Very deep quotes. I barely made it home alive. My back hurts like hell. God, you it went home? It's not true, all right? They are trying to lure you into believing this nonsensical conspiracy. They are fanatics. Who in their right mind would believe that in this day and age someone would want to exterminate the community of defenseless monks? Seriously. There is scientific proof that in the Colima region there are surges of methane gas leaking from the ground almost each year. The huge explosions were caused by the gas suddenly catching fire, not because of a military action. I know that some would like to believe that a Norwegian society is upon us, but that is simply not the truth. What the hell? So they're trying to cover it up? Definitely. And I almost got myself killed out there. I'm not even sure if what I did was, after all, the right thing to do. And I have no idea how to find Ludmila, or if something happened to her. Okay, back in creepy house with creepy doll. Cool. Our mother always had something mysterious in her eyes. It's darkness. 
<laughs> There's darkness in her eyes. Oh, wow. It's an abnormal amount of pills. Yeah, it really is. Off. Mum. Mum died. I've been alone for almost a week. I feel awful. I will never forget that night. It all started with an awful noise from the closet. I was in the bathroom. I went there. In the light of the flickering bulb, I saw her. Gasping for air, her face distorted in a terrifying expression. Chilled to the bone, I started screaming. That was all I could do. Why the hell didn't I get a knife to cut that damn rope? Why didn't you? Oh my god, even now my hair stands on the back of my head. I screamed for help, but no one answered. No one. I was alone until morning. Only then did I recover from my fear and called you. Then the police. Only then did the neighbours stick their... Only then did the neighbours stuck their heads out of the window, curious to find out what had happened. But one thing I will never forget. The door. The apartment door was wide open that night. It may seem like an insignificant detail. One might even think Mum opened it. But I have a sinister feeling. That night, the devil himself was in... <laughs> That night, the devil himself was in this house. Eerie. My god, this room is so... rosy. Oh my god, look at all the pills. Damn it. All these pills must have interfered with my sister's mental health. Yeah. Oh, phone. Okay. Why do all the doors need to be locked in this house? How'd you get in? Oh, no blood? Okay. Hello? Ludmilla? Um, no. This is Lazarus. I'm her brother. Mr. Lazarus? Oh, thank God you answered. My name is Laura. I'm a journalist at the local newspaper. But don't worry, I didn't call to ask any uncomfortable questions. That's good to know. And why did you call? You see, I'm a friend of your sister's. We got close after your mother's death, but I haven't been able to get a hold of her for a while now. What do you mean? She hasn't been answering the phone. I came to her apartment the other day and found the entrance door open. I entered, but there was no sign of her. Only the living room was open. The rest of the apartment was locked up. Is she with you now? No. I talked to her on the phone a few hours ago. She said she was at the cemetery. What? That makes no sense. Why would she go to the cemetery at this hour? It's outside the city, plus the whole place was turned upside down by General Gotov. Mm -hmm. Listen, Mr. Lazarus. I'll drop by to discuss this right away. We need to find out what happened to her. Let's hope okay. I can trust her. <gasps> Kitty! Where the hell did he come from? Hi. Pat, pat, pat. You don't pat, seem to cat. care that much about all this, do you? Thank goodness there's a cat. Like, that always makes me feel so much more comfortable. Alright. That, that cracks. What? Oh, hold on, what? Is it that thing from the bathroom? It's like gone into all the rooms. This damn door won't open. Okay. <laughs> Can I go through this one now into the pretty room? Whoa! Holy! Can we cl close close door now? Quick, quick! Shut it! That's that's not a good idea. Close the door. Where are those things coming from? Damn it! I'm stuck in this place. Close the door. No, he's not gonna close. He's gonna. Oh, I'm just gonna. Bye. Oh shoot! That's open now. Ho! Holy heck, where did you come from? Ludmilla? I didn't know you were home. Oh god, I was afraid I lost you. Help! Help! Lazarus, help! Stay calm. We need to get to the closest. Oh! Crap! Oh. No. Oh no, I felt. Oh, god! What on earth is that? What? Oh, what the devil? Oh my god. Stay back. Just look away. Oh, that's a body? Oh, is that it? Oh, no! I didn't want that to be over yet. Well, that's a good thing, right? Hey! 
actually makes me want to find out. Oh, good job, guys. Good job. That's a very interesting game. Creepy. Like, what on earth is happening in his house? I wish I'd looked around a little bit more at the end there. That's okay. That was really cool. I can't wait for the next chapter. Can Is there any chance you can release them all at once so I can play for like a full half many hours? That was really great. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a fascinating story. I want to know what's happening. Thank you for thank you for making this. That was fun. And the two little jump scares. And I probably wasn't actually meant to get jump scared by them anyway. It's just because I'm a scaredy cat. All right. So I'm gonna quickly grab the collectibles, and then I'm gonna come back so that I can show you guys what they are. I went back through and grabbed all the collectibles, and I highly recommend that you do if you play this game because they're actually really cool. First of all, I'm going to show you the first one we got, which is the camera. And I'm going to read all these because it's actually very interesting and it provides a lot of the story. So again, I highly recommend you look through the collectibles, make sure you grab them and definitely give this a read. If you're not, if you're just watching this, it's fine. You don't need to now. <laughs> I remember this old thing. This camera reminds me of the first beating I took from dad. <laughs> That's not funny. Oh my God. I was around 14 years old. A distant relative visited us on Christmas and bought this thing as a present. Even though today it may not be worth much, it was quite an expensive camera back in the old days. This thing would require a film cartridge and we only had one. Dad quickly used it to take some pictures of us, however I remember he wasn't impressed and threw them away. He said that we'd rather not keep memories of our family. As there was nothing special about us? I never understood what he meant, but I would often take the camera and pretend to take pictures of mum and dad even and even of Ludmilla, who was just a toddler at the time. Once I surprised Dad when he came back from work, pretending to take a picture of him, he lashed at me and slapped me, throwing the camera out the window. He started repeating that our family does not deserve to be preserved in memories, since we are just worthless scum, that we are wretches and sinful. I never understood his rage, but I forgave him. I searched for the camera that night and found it. I tried to put it back together, but to no avail. A few days later, Dad left. For the better? What a poo! <laughs> That's not cool. Okay, next one. Just by reading the prayer on the back of the icon, strange feelings overwhelm my heart. Have mercy on us, O oh God, have mercy on us. Deliberately have I imitated bloodthirsty Cain, O oh Lord, in living my flesh while murdering my soul by striking it with my evil deeds. I have not resembled Abel in his righteousness, O oh Jesus, never having offered to you Actions worthy of God, pure gifts, an appropriate sacrifice, an unblemished life. Like Cain, O oh my wretched soul, my offering to the Creator of all has been filthy deeds, a polluted sacrifice, a worthless life, and like him I now stand condemned. You formed my flesh and bones as a potter. O oh my Creator, my Redeemer, and my Judge, by moulding clay into flesh and infusing it infusing in it the breath of life accept me now as i return to you O oh my savior i confess the sins which i have committed the wounds which murderous thoughts like these within me have inflicted on my body and soul though i have sinned O oh savior i know that in your love for mankind your punishment is merciful and your compassion profound seeing my tears you will run to me as the father calling his lost son okay Reading those beautifully written lines, I can only marvel at the way my father saw the world. It's really beautiful. <laughs> Tonight I will leave this world, perhaps forever. I will always keep you in my heart and in my prayers. I have lived my life in sin, and now the time for repentance has come. When my days vanish like smoke, my bones burn like glowing embers. My heart is blighted and withered like grass. I forget to eat my food. Me too. Because of my loud groaning, I am reduced to skin and bones. I am like a desert owl, like an owl among the ruins. I lie awake. I become like a bird alone on a roof. All day long my enemies taunt me. Those who rail against me use my name as a curse. For I eat ashes as my food and mingle my drink with my tears. Because of your great wrath, for you have taken me up and thrown me aside. My days are like the evening shadow. I wither away like grass. Wow, it's really deep. 
I'm so glad I got that. I'm, I'm really glad we came back to get that. There's only one thing I can say, dear developers, if you ever watch this, it'd be really cool if you do. If you ever watch this, please put in a skip option. Even if it's not on the first playthrough, but the second one, a skip option would be so perfect for not just people like me who want to go back and get collectibles, but speedrunners too, who like to run a game as quickly as they can. Please do that. Alright guys, thank you so much for joining me. That was really fun. I have a few more little horror games coming up, like little indie games and Christmas games, and we're gonna just play through them. Because I didn't get a chance to do it on Christmas. Because Christmas happened. I hope you had a fantastic Christmas, and if you don't celebrate it, I hope you had an amazing day. I hope you enjoyed that these little games to come, they're gonna be over the next few days. I'll hopefully get them all out before the new year. Alright, until then, I'm off. Bye bye.